So it just refreshed the stream chat on my end. Mm. I'm gonna drink water while I'm at it. Hey, do you mind if I recommend a movie to you? It's it's a movie I grew up on. I don't know if you can find it. Um, the movie's called uh, Flight of Dragons. Like the opening, you know, you get the right one when the song uh, starts opening with "Flight of Dragons." Like it's like the dragons in that are very interesting. Because <laughs> I like I love mythical creatures, especially dragons. It has like a kind of a good sign soundtrack. Oh crap, I might have just killed myself. I I, I honestly because I grew up with it, I put it on the same list as like, you know, uh Dark Crystal is one of my favorite things growing up. Besides Godzilla and uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas, I grew up watching that the most. To the point where my grandparents got tired of hearing it. <laughs> like, uh, the, the paint, paint you an image. The dragons eat sulfur to, uh, or I do believe it's sulfur, to, um, to get a fire in their stomach. And then they use that to, uh, inflate themselves. I'm not joking. Uh, to take airborne, and then they release fire from their mouth to deflate like it's an interesting concept for dragons like that's why they they, they live like kind of that's why they bother dwarves is because they um dwarves will ha have pl usually mine plenty of sulfur and I mean this is like kind of like a cartoon animated movie It, it, it really is like um they have these like annoying rat creatures that make these terrible squeaking sounds and even the people in the show hate them <laughs> well, well it's not a show it's a movie but. and they have other dragons too like they have like they have like the, the um the chinese dragons they have like water dragons like all dra even hydras are in it which is um, they even have the dragons that don't have arms that are just giant worms. They, like, they have plenty of stuff to, de to deal with. I was forced into the lava. Okay, getting those blood damage in. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> and if you notice, the worms here, they have, like, broken, like, broken wings. Or the, like, the wings are kind of deformed. A bit. So it's like, they're not going to be flying anytime soon. Oh, I can't heal. <laughs> they were once humans. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, is it like the whole entire they touched like they they touched something that turned them into dragons? No. Ah, this actually I think there's like a book or something where um someone tr touched dragon's gold and they got like a dragon's curse from it, and that's why they started turning into dragons because they they couldn't stop hoarding gold. I can't remember what show that was. Dang it, got me thinking again. <laughs> Oh, we're on my last hour. Dang. So I can become that. Nice. <laughs> we're gonna switch to this helmet. Because, uh, that one, well, it doesn't increase my arcane. Sadly. Oh, wait. There's a summoning thing here. Man. I was actually, um... 
you actually find in Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, you can actually physically become dragons. Not like the giant ones, but you can become kind of like a humanoid dragon. You just have to find the areas for them. Oliver. Chad, Chadwin. Is no one summonable? Is no one summonable? Just gonna go, huh? Uh, um, there are, there's like these little stone tablets you need to look for. And, uh, when you use the tablets, like, for instance, there's like ones like the Dragon Head Stone. Uh, it'll have an icon, or it'll, uh, you, if you use the gimbal in the dragon form, you start to breathe fire. The only issue is that you can't wear armor while in dragon form. <laughs> so unless you really know how to run around without armor, um, good luck. <laughs> he pushed me into lava. Well, um, actually the ar the dragon uh, form in Dark Souls 2 is kind of is armor. And unlike in the other, like the first and third one, your mouth doesn't move. Oh, and speaking of, um, dragons, I guess I should mention, there's actually hydras in the first game, in the first Dark Souls game, there's hydras. <laughs> Have fun, because, um, I will warn you, because, uh, it took me forever to figure it out, you can't actually reach the hydra, because where the hydra's at is a death pit. You get too close, and you fall into to your death. How you first to fight it is, uh, you grab a shield, and when it goes to strike with you at me at melee, you block, you take the hit, and you, you don't lose any health, and then you quickly strike the heads while the heads are, heads are stuck in the ground. You have to chop off all the heads to kill it. I'm trying to guess what if the if the well. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab my runes here. I'm going to see if I can level up, and if not, I'm going to go do some of the uh, bosses to level up, because I'm getting my butt kicked. If I could summon someone, it would be easier, but man. I'm trying to remember. Actually, there's this other dragon movie. I'm trying to remember of it now, but it was like a, like a live-action one. It had to deal with the scepters, and the red scepter controlled the red dragons, while the yellow scepter controlled the yellow dragons. It was like a turf war between the... Like, the red dragons were evil, the yellow dragons were good. I can't remember what that show was called. Dang, I'm going down memory lane. Okay, I'm bolting. I didn't tell you the hardest part about, about the Hydra. It's getting to the Hydra that's the hard part. Because when it sees you, it starts shooting water at you from, with all the heads. So, um, you have to basically run and hope it doesn't hit you. Uh, I figured I'd just warn you. Is the, uh, well, is the well, um, dam because of the fact that, uh, the dragon, or is it the fact that the hydra, that there's a death pit? <laughs> oh, and I, mean, I forgot to mention, there's two hydras in the game. There's two hydras in the game that I know of. And let's just say the second one's actually easier because if it get, walks on the land, it instantly kills itself. <laughs> so it's like a, oh, a hydra. Ah, you killed it. <laughs> We're going to go back to our favorite character, E.G. And we're going to go fight Loretta. Hopefully they'll find me enough runes. Oh, we probably should go through the mine and go fight that dragon. Actually, there's like two other dragons I gotta go fight. <laughs> I know where they're at. Um, I, 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 at first I wasn't going to watch the, uh, new Mario movie that's coming out. Because I remember watching the Mario movie that was, I'm talking like the live action one. I remember watching that one. That one was a bit interesting. Like, it was like Super Mario Bros. <laughs> it was like a live action one. That one was hilarious. But, uh, it's got cult following now. Because when it first came out, people didn't like it. 
But uh, the uh, new, the new uh, Super Smash Bros. movie or the Super, uh, not Super Smash Bros. but su uh, Super Super Mario movie uh, that's animated. Uh, I heard he was playing Bowser, and I was like, I have to watch. And it's like, you know, Bowser, voice of Jack Black. I'm like, they got Jack Black to play a villain. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> He is the best. Like, um, well, uh, I actually, uh, it's, I remember watching it a bit growing up, but then, you know, I, I, uh, until I turned 16, I wasn't allowed to fully watch it. It was the, uh, the Jack Black movie, uh, Pick of Destiny. Where it's, uh, yeah, it's like about his band, like, uh, I do believe it, his band's called Tenacious D. <laughs> Which, uh, good on you, Jack Black. Good naming. <laughs> Gets laughter out of me every time. Uh, and, you know, it's an interesting movie, because in the end, because, like, um, and in, in, towards the end of the movie, they literally have a, he literally has a, uh, a rock off against the devil. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, not the devil, um, Beelzebos, as, as, as he's called in the song. All I can think is, First off, if the demon's called Beelzebos, that's an awesome name. Ah, man, I have to go listen to that now. <laughs> yeah, he does. And and there's actually a theory, um, someone put out a theory. Oh, all the cast members for all the, um, the actors for the Mario movie, they all know how to sing, so there's gonna be at least each character might each get at least one musical uh, moment in, and if that's the case, I cannot wait for Jack Black to sing his Bowser. That is going to be the best. It might ruin Bowser a bit, but man, Jack Black is probably going to make it awesome. And I heard they might also make another Kung Fu Panda, which also Jack Black co the panda, so it's like, oh man, another Kung Fu Panda. Speaking of Kung Fu Panda, I grew up watching the series of Kung Fu Panda. That was a, that was a good show. It was in between, like, the second movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. All I can think of is it's going to be... I, I, I'm just imagining it. Some people are like, oh, it's a Mario movie. They ain't going to do no heavy metal. Turns around, Jack Black as Bowser just doing the most heaviest metal ever. <laughs> I cannot wait. And, you know, they have um, Chris Pratt as... Uh, I do have to say his name right. Uh, Star-Lord from you know, Garden of the Galaxy. They have him as Mario, so it's like... Man, they're gonna have him have a singing part because apparently he does a bit of singing. <laughs> All I can think is, oh man, who else in the movie's gonna be great? <laughs> uh, part of the reason I watched the the new Jumanji movies is that Jack Black was in it, and uh, all I can think, I'll, I'll, I could do nothing but laugh at his scenes. He's the best. I hate the page guys. Mm. And honestly, it's just like I can have like random memories popping up. I'm actually not aging. I was um I'm born I was born in like 2003, and my birthday's in like May. So I'm actually planning on streaming like on the night like before my birthday. So when it hits. 12 in my time, I, you know, I, I turn, you know, I, you know, birthday and stuff. And it's one of those things where, I mean, I, I'm, I'm only 19. <laughs> I just, you know, I was, I was, you know, you know, a kid, you know, around this part of time, and technically when it comes to stuff, <laughs> sometimes uh, you get the most inter entertainment remembering stuff. Man, Loretta's harder than I remember. I'm trying to think. What, what? There's something else I remember. I, I actually remember also watching the original Jumanji. The original Jumanji isn't half bad, and I, I actually like that um, the uh, the newer Jumanjis do not interfere with the original in any way. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> yes, huh? Yeah, I can. I just gotta give it a body first. Well, 
Oh, it does. Um, I like the the best part. I think I liked was the um, with the um, it wasn't the croc. It, it well, first off, one of the best part was the uh, crocodile scene where the whole entire like house gets flooded. The other best part was when all the plants showed up, and also the crazy hunter. The crazy hunter. Oh my gosh, he's the best. Can't touch this. Oh well, you cool. You clearly can. <laughs> oh, safe. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah. Well, you know, talking about memories and stuff. Ah, uh, there was this one. Ah. Uh, Trying to think what it was. Yeah, well, yeah, but uh, yeah, back to Jumanji. Uh, the hunter was one of my favorite parts. The fact is that he's a hunter who hunts men. And if you go and watch the like newer ones, they actually come across his cabin that he he stayed in when he was trapped in the board. And it's like that little nod. It's like, oh man, it makes you want to go watch the original. And I like that the uh, game actually adapted from a board game to a console because like, a kid didn't want to play a board game. <laughs> it's like, man, you get with the times. Oh, well. I'm going to go to the Oh, let's actually go fight um, one of the dragons. Uh, I actually didn't like the Welcome to the Jungle one. Uh, yeah, or, you know, the, uh, the second one that after, you know, a long time after getting, you know, Jumanji back. I actually didn't like the second one. I, like, prefer the, like, the first one better. Because the second one, there's a couple scenes where I'm just, I cannot, do, I cannot do. <laughs> I, I am a person who cannot, I, I cringe very easily. Like, embarrassing scenes I cannot handle. You put me in a movie, nothing, nothing but embarrassing scenes, and I would just feel... Bad. It's like it's it's a ha it's, it's just the type of person I am. So it's the same things like you need, I had to probably have that one friend that would torture me. <laughs> well, uh, at least you have some something to do now. It's like after you know the stream stuff, you can go you, you know go watch Jumanji. You can go watch Flight of Dragons, which I highly recommend. Uh, what else? Um, also, I wanted to ask a question since you um. Since you clearly have been enjoying the stream, um, I'm uh, one of the questions is when it comes to anime, do you have you seen the Overlord anime? This is a very big question. <laughs> crazy it is. Oh, not yet. Um, well. Uh, have you at least seen previews for it? So you at least know what to expect? There's a reason I'm asking this. Okay, so, um... The, uh, Overlord game that I'm gonna be playing tomorrow, o Overlord Raising Hell, uh, I've been playing it for a while, so I'm at, you, so you've, like, missed a bunch of it. However, um, it's almost like the anime, but in game form, a bit. Like, there's, like, of course, some stuff that's clearly different, but it's, like, it's the closest thing you can get to a game of it. And, honestly, I've been loving the Overlord anime. I won't spoil anything, because, you know, I don't ever want to spoil about anime. Anime is, like, sacred. That's, like, a trust. <laughs> also, I've come across one of the best katanas in the game in a few seconds. Great minute. Like, especially if you're a magic wielder, you want the katana in this cave. The moon veil. Katana. I'm mainly here for the dragon, though. <laughs> Need the dragon heart for more spells. Ooh, something's going on. Ooh, yay. Mm. I actually got stretch my legs a bit. Ugh. Oh, and the best part about that Flight of Dragons movie? The designs, 
designs of the dragons. They, there's nice color palettes. Because, you know, what doesn't make just the dragon maybe terrifying or even cool looking is the design. It's not just the design, it's also the color you give. For instance, you know, the dragons here, the worms, um, they have a nice design and they have a great color palette that kind of match the room that they're in, which is nice. I'm doing more direct damage with this dragon than the other one. No! No! Give me! No! Oh, I'm actually doing the same amount of damage, aren't I? No! Give me all the lava! Well, he helped! <laughs> Yeah, you probably should. Honestly, movie marathons are fun. Like, usually, what? So, the days I'm not streaming, I'm actually constantly re watching anime. Like, um, one I've been watching really well recently, uh, that I can't wait for the movie to come out is, um, first off, Black Clover, and then that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I've been loving those. Like, I've, I've been watching, like, anime forever. Like, ever since I was, like, four years old, the first anime I ever watched was probably Dragon Ball Z. And,. Not, uh, not the, like, Dragon Ball Z character, but, like, the original Dragon Ball while it was airing. Like, Dragon Ball Z. Not Dragon Ball, because I was not old enough, probably, to be watching Dragon Ball. But, yeah. And, you know, Dragon Ball has always been one of my favorite anime to watch. And, you know, I still watch it. I honestly love, like, uh, the Goku Black Arc and Dragon Ball, um, Super, because you know Rose is awesome. Oh, you know I need to go somewhere. I need to go underground. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, you know, ever since I started watching that time I got reincarnated in the slime, it replaced Dragon Ball as my number one favorite, and it was like that's never happened. But it's like the anime is just so good. It's like I can't wait for like another season. But they currently have a movie going on, or coming out. It's like can't wait to see that movie. Oh, um, another good anime to watch if you haven't watched it is The Devil Is a Part Timer. <laughs> that one will make you laugh because if you haven't watched it yet, the premise is so. The Satan, the Satan, or you know, the devil himself is among us, but he works at McDonald's. That's the. That's, so far, that's the premise. That's all I'm gonna give you. You have to watch it to find out what happens. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, that's it. I, I'm surprised I haven't been down here yet. almost have 30 minutes left on the stream. I honestly, I, I don't want the stream to end. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> but I need to stick to the schedule or I don't get enough sleep. Hey, here's something you can do. Get a pizza and have a movie marathon. Oh yeah, it's um it, it, yeah, it's Giga Movie. It, it, the movie is like uh like the trailer. Hold on, I'll bring up the title so you can like look it up later. Uh I go to this. Uh, I I do think I have it saved. Uh let me see, give me a minute, I'm looking it up on the phone. Um Believe it, uh, for Elden Ring or for the next stream I'm actually doing? Because it's for Elden Ring, I stream Elden Ring on 
Tuesdays. Well, technically it's Wednesday now, but Tuesday, you know, starting from Tuesday night till you know Wednesday in the morning, and then tonight I'm going to be streaming Overlord the game, or Overlord Raging Hell. I'm going to be streaming that, and then the night after that I'm going to be trying to upload videos. Of the oh, anything? Uh, I'm playing Overlord literally like tomorrow. Like uh, okay, so like um, so like for your okay, I have to explain this. Uh, you know, tomorrow's Wednesday. Or, I guess today's Wednesday. This is weird. <laughs> uh, well, anyhow, um... Uh, so, basically, uh, when I, st I start... For me, I start at 11. And, you know, right around you time you said it was like t 10 or 10 or 8. I don't know. What, I can't remember what you said your time was when you're like, you were streaming, but... Uh, or that you were watching my stream. But, I start at 11. For me... And actually, it's supposed to show in your time zone. Actually, if you look at the schedule, uh, but you you know you you know when to join. But that's when I start at, at that time. And so usually, if you yeah. but anyhow, the, um, that time I got reincarnated the slime. The movie's called that time I got reincarnated the slime, uh, Scarlet Bond. Um, if the movie so from from the trailers, um. Uh, if you've watched the series, uh, it has to do with Benny Maru's brother, I do believe. So, like, this is going to be some, like, very interesting stuff. But, uh, I, I, like I was trying to say, I stream Tuesday, Wednesday now. Like, every, like each week, so you know where to find me. I'll probably see you next stream. <laughs> oh man! Sadly, for, uh, Streamlabs OB, uh, OBS doesn't like to capture the game. Oh, I'm sorry. Benny Maru has someone stuck for me. Uh, he's tied with two other people as the best boy. Uh, I actually, I guess, four people. Four people. So. First off, you got Rimuru. He's got he's got to be one of my favorites. Cause you know he he's, he kind of acts how some people probably would act. Second, Benu Ma, Benu Maru is second. Third place goes to Diablo. Then fourth place goes to Soe. <laughs> and Soe is just like the the oh you can do this now. <laughs> That's like else the person you don't want to mess with. <laughs> Mainly going over here for uh, two items. Well, mainly, I'm gonna do something that's probably gonna get me killed a bunch. <laughs> it is true. Uh, if, if there's one of those things where it's like um, perfect waifus, you, you know the the whole entire thing from your your favorite female characters from anime. Probably all of mine are in um, Tensura. If I'm being honest, because first off, you have the character who he, you know, they have the anime trip of the person being bad at cooking. Shion, she's bad at cooking. <laughs> it's like, you know, but I, I see, I called that trope right as she said, "Let me make you some food." I called the trope, and then when it happened, I was like, I couldn't stop from laughing. I had to pause, laugh for about tw five minutes, then unpause and continue watching. <laughs> Uh, then there's Shuna. She's gotta be like one of the second best characters, for female characters at least, or at least number one, number one or number two. She she has to take one of those spots. And then I can't help but laugh a bit at Malin, because you know his reaction to her when she first shows up. It's not hard to tell. She's what? <laughs> oh, that that line killed me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Don't insult the demon lord right to her face. <laughs> Yeah, but I can't wait for the Scarlet Vaughn. Uh, I don't know when it's premiering, but I'm looking. I'm thinking. I think I'm. I don't think it's out. Hold on. 
apparently the movie has a rating and I think has already been seen. Um, I think it's on Crunchyroll right now. But, uh, I don't know about a video game. Oh, wait, it does actually have a video game. It has a, uh... The, the video game is on the phone, though. But you get to build the town and stuff, and then, um... Uh, it has an interesting premise. Did you know that in the game, Rimuru has a daughter? And it's funny how she was born. Oh my gosh, I can't... <laughs> Like, uh, the, the game's a bit of a gotcha game, a bit, but it's still kind of fun. From what I've seen, I haven't been able to play it because my phone's not compatible. <laughs> but I, apparently the movie, I think, is out on Crunchyroll, I think. I might be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong, because I, mean, I, I know what I'm watching later. How the game or how the movie? Because it's how the game, um, the, uh, I, uh, my phone apparently is, is, is just the videos, not, uh, wait, I don't have any, oh, I need two, I need to go buy, hold on, uh, I need to go buy, I'll be right back, because with the game, um, my phone just, is it, it's, it's either, it's like the video or something for it. It's just not compatible with playing it. It's, it's, it's like, I get the... Oh, oh, the daughter? Okay. So I'll explain it since you probably... I don't know if you'll end up playing it. But, um... I'll watch a video on how this happened. So there's an ir ir evil mirror making copies. So, for instance, there's a copy of ben Benumaru going around and stuff. That's evil. And you have to fight him and stuff. Well, uh... The... the, the, the she's supposed to be a copy of Rimuru. But, um... The mirror, like, you know, make, will grant a wish. And Shuna was basically looking at the mirror and was like, I wonder what Rimuru would look like as a girl. And poof, his daughter was born. But um, when she goes to the full power, her, her hair shifts from... She has, like, blue um, blue hair, red eyes. You can actually look it up if you want. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I picked the wrong spot. I think I've gone lost, <laughs> but you know it's one of those, it's one of those things where uh, when she goes full power. Oh, okay, I, at least it's close. Sorry that uh, when she goes full power, her hair changes from blue to pink, and she has basically all the skills Rimuru does. It's actually kind of overpowered. Like she has the gluttony and she has uh, great her own great sage. It's like it's, it's one of those things like if anyone could be a threatening villain. To Rimuru, it would be her. But here's the thing: in her slime form, she is pink, like with like rabbit ears. It's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> but it's like that's like when you hear that origin, that you can't but help. It's like, it's like, dang, Shuna, you were trying to create some very weird fan art, weren't you? Because <laughs> there are some people who, who like do the whole entire thing, like uh, the Gata thing from the episode where it's like. It's like, so what are your things going to grow in? And then slaps him. <laughs> yeah, OP child. Um, it's actually one of those things where she actually goes berserk and almost destroys herself, from what I remember. And he was actually going to take up the role of actually raising her, but I think she actually dies in the game, I think. Which is kind of sad. It's like, man, he probably would have been the great greatest parent. Of course, when, when the question when the game was coming out was, like, who's the parent? My thoughts, like, I, my bets were on the lean, honestly, if I was being honest. Because, like... <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're both demon lords. Why not? But it's like, uh, the only thing is like, um, she has blue hair, her eyes are red. And, um, I actually looked up if, you know, technically if, um, I think I was look looking up, uh, 
uh, like manga spoilers, it, it, like who does Rimuru technically get married to, or if he actually has a kid in the future? And the answer to that is, uh, I, I'm not actually actually I'm not gonna spoil that, but it's it's very it's an even even weirder story than the uh, wishing for a uh, girl. Rim, uh, what would Rimuru look like as a girl? It's even weirder than that. I'll just say this. <laughs> Oh, and speaking of gluttony, uh, the Overlord game that I'm playing, the bosses are all... I will come back to you later. <laughs> uh, but anyhow. Uh, the, all the bosses, the, like the main bosses of the game, are based off of the seven deadly sins. So, for instance, I already beat two of the bosses already. Uh, they are uh, Gluttony and Lust. I already beat those two. The next boss, I do believe, is Sloth who I'll be fighting next. And then Greed after that. But hopefully, you know, next stream, since it'll be a longer stream than usual, uh, you know, it'll be interesting. Like, to see how far I get. And I'm also doing an Overlord. You have, like, the chance to do a... Uh, Good and evil route. I'm doing full evil route. I will destroy everything. Oh! Ah, uh, I don't think I can see a doctor for this. <laughs> It'd be like, sorry, sir. <laughs> that arrow straight in me. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, I actually have some music to recommend to you. Since you just, since you've been a, oh, death. <laughs> oh, arrow disappeared. It's some music on YouTube. Uh, they're like, um, people made songs for Elden Ring. You know, they were inspired by Elden Ring, so they made songs and stuff. One of the songs, hold on, I'm trying to find it. It's in my list somewhere. Uh, uh, the ring is by Falcon Shield. It's called Awaken. That's one of the best ones. And one's like, uh, it's a Elden Ring song titled Rise. Or, We Rise. It's like also another good one. Yeah, uh, people made some fan made music for, uh, Elden Ring after playing it. The one I highly recommend, though, is called Awaken by Falcon Shield. <gasps> That's the wrong direction. There's a bear this way. I wasn't watching where I was going. <laughs> Were you still concerned me, Agent, if I told you I listened to Skillet and Nickelback? This is just an honest question to ask. Because, you know, I listen to Skillet and Nickelback, and you know, I actually grew up listening to Nick and Nickelback. That's one of those things, but uh, my favorite Skillet song has got to be Monster. <laughs> the hmm. <laughs> What's the hmm for? Well played. <laughs> was, it, was it because I skipped the bear, or...? <laughs> Or the fact that I brought up the fact that you called me agent. <laughs> He's gonna flame! Take your time. Oh man. Ugh. The thing is, um. I probably won't, like, if I manage to beat the game, I probably won't stream Elden Ring again until probably the DLC comes out. Just to, like, make my series still going. Because, you know, I actually, like, like the title I came up with, Journey of the Fallen Shadow. And honestly, I was, it was going through, I went through many different titles before I landed on that one. Like, there's a basket full of... 
Haha, -ha, you thought that would kill me. He's trying again? Fall down already. The one time I actually want a heavy weapon to deal with more stunning damage. Aha! Oh yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but they keep following me. I need as many followers as I can get. <laughs> oh, let's go meet Papa Alexander. Yeah, I mean, he kind of earns the name by just how big he is. Talk. Oh wait, uh, I... <laughs> Hold on. And from there, I can open up the door behind him. I think now. Yeah, you can open. Up, you can get behind him now and open up the arena. That's one. That's two arenas open now. The last arena is in um, Lindell, I do believe. Oh, I love this arena so much better than the other ones so far. The reason I would call him Papa Alexander is because he's got to be the father of all the jars. He's the jar god. Hold on, I'm gonna put my only message down in the game. Wait, can I make a custom? Oh, they get you. Let's see, is there a phrase? Um. Visions of beautiful. That is well deserved. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I should mention something about this. I actually found out that these um, summons are based off of actual players. Like, it randomly picks between players who are actually played, and it picks their profiles to use the summons against you. Hey, I know that person! <coughs> I'm doing nothing. I might actually have to do this part off. I might have to do that fight offline. That's a bit over. Oh, I need those runes. Oh, crap. Well, I'm rushing. I'm making a break for it. I hit my mic again by accident. I was going to say, if you, if, um, you play on PC, right? Because, uh, so, um, I would say you, uh, I'm Dark Nixie 7 on Steam if you, oh, if you, oh, you don't? Uh, the game's not cross-platform, so I probably won't be able to play with you. Because um, I play on Steam and stuff. So, yeah, I, this is the one thing about these games I wish you could, uh, you, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that, it's like, the fact that it's not cross-platform bugs me. Because if it was cross-platform, you know, it'd be way more, it's, yeah. As I say, if you play it on Steam, as I say, you could go just go ahead and make me a friend on Steam. <laughs> that way it'd be easier to play. Uh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, maybe that's the DLC. We get cross platform. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you see Okay, I have to run back. 
He's pretty good to turn around and try and fire. Haha! -ha! Oh, dodging. Haha! -ha. I actually noticed when you jump, it's easier to dodge with Torrent. Instead of just doing the dash with Torrent dodge. I'm, I'm actually gonna go spend these now. These runes before I lose them again. <laughs> I actually, I'm just, um, because I've been dying to do it, I actually want to do some arena fights against actual players. Something I've been dying to do. Not r literally dying, but, you know. <laughs> if I was physically dying to do it, that would be bad. And I think to myself. What a wonderful fight. Oh, I'm about to go get the thing for like later for farming the uh, scarab. <laughs> medic, we need a medic. <laughs> Wait, was that for the comment of the, uh, when I got hit with the arrow and I nearly died? If so, that's well played. Well played, my friend. Well, you are a friendly ghost. Ooh. -ooh. I was about to say O-W-O. -O. <laughs> like the nerd that I am. But nerds are the best. Because they know what they're talking about. I actually see this people have been doing builds in um, Elden Ring uh, where they play as Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> and all I can think is, man, that's gotta be an insane build if you're playing as Escanor. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get a arena fight. Sun attack, yeah. Cruel sun. Oh, I think this thing on you need to go. Any commands? Spray actions? Spray actions? No, I guess. You know, you found that? Is anyone? Oh, no. Okay, I'm just doing it. I, hold on, I think if I go back to Holy Blade Escape. Uh. I was, I thought it was the, oh yeah, okay, I actually, I know which one you're talking about. I thought it was the, the fine, the vine sword, Escanor. And then there's the vine axe, Rita. That's for sure is the vine sword. Okay. Try a tense. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember either, it's been lots of watch. Okay, I guess no arenas. Oh, man. The one time I actually want to do arena... Oh, you know what? We have to go do a quest line. First, we gotta go beat up a tree. Let's go do the... You know, for the last minutes of the stream, we're gonna do this gosh darn quest line. At least it'll be entertaining. Because I have, like, almost like a... I have only a few minutes left. <laughs> uh, first off, we'll deal with our tree symptom on here. I hit the wrong button. Hey, just stand there. Attack, 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 attack. Even the, the tree sound does a lot of damage, man. Uh. The, I'm gonna, you know, get to eat. Oh. <laughs> uh, we need to go talk to White Nest Vare for this quest line. So we can get to the one area, because I think I might farm uh, actually off camera. <laughs> uh, maybe farm some levels. So, I, so I'm not, at least I'm not underprepared this time around. 
Okay. Oh, well, you might hey. now for an audience. Oh, I had to go. I forgot to go see those two. Hey, that's the worst part of this beast. I gotta say, though, I love Meliodas in uh, Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> Just the fact of what he does. Oh. Let's just say, he is in modern day, the cops would be after him. For, uh, assault. Forgot there's a talisman pouch there. Ooh, I, I cannot believe I forgot about that. Uh, let's see, let's see, uh, where's these, uh, critical AP? Raise pounds, even can't be, that's what we really should do. And then we go to Vare, he wants to invade people. Oh, we actually, I think we have to go meet him. Yeah, we go to him, he's not there. We go to the... Yep, he's not there. Bravo. It's like after you beat Godric, um, you then go to... Uh, I think it's here. Yeah, you did go here where White Mascari is. Oh, I have to go deal with Vike as an invader. Jeez, I was not ready for that. Guys, you have to go get blood. Um, uh, I'm on the last 10 minutes. Well, we'll make our way here and I'll have that set up for next time. I might... Uh, uh, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure you might know how to do the quest line, so... But for those who don't, you talk to White Mass uh, Vare, and then he wants you to invade players three times. You don't have to win. Oh, you okay? You know. Uh, and then you have to go. Oh, well, I'm talking. This is for the people on YouTube who watch who don't know. You then come over here to the village or up to this church. You have to get. Uh, a maiden's blood, get the banner, come back. He marks you, and then you can go to the area. You've had what? I probably most likely do this off. Go ahead, uh -huh. My dad, words are truly. I believe even words. That's the part. Oh, I'll give it to try. And if you drive high. Okay, before we try any invasions, I probably, I'll actually probably, yeah, I'll probably mostly do this off now. But real quick, I'm gonna at least try and make it. <laughs> We can do it if we try, just to do this. I don't know why all these random songs, man. <coughs> why am I choking on water? I guess there's a, there's if there's an area I hate the most, it isn't the poison swamps. The areas I hate the most has got to be the um, lower area of the giants because of the bloody blizzards. You can't see crap. But I will say, like the nice views like this is what really is like makes this game amazing. It's like there's so just so much to explore. Well, I guess the last five minutes mark, I'll get to uh, to saying goodbye phase. It's not there yet. Rat. More rats. That stupid tower. Oh, frenzy flame. I forgot my health also goes down. That actually scared the crap out of me. I don't know why it scared the crap out of me. Normally, I actually deal with the tower, but at this point, I honestly don't care to deal with it. There's where I was looking for. Just figured go ahead and like, like, because if you're a good way this distance away from it, it will actually not hit black 
black and salty. <laughs> yeah. Man. I will say, out of all the characters, uh, I actually think it says in his dot in his armor set that the four-headed dragon liked. Uh, uh, I forgot. I was just saying his name. I I just forgot his name. His name. I was just saying it. I completely forgot his name. Crap. Brain fart. But the forehead dragon said that it said when you get his armor, it says that of all the humans, it says he, he liked him the most. Which is like, for a dragon to like someone, hmm. they must really if they don't attack them with like lasers. Oh, oh yeah, Vike. Vike was the name. Okay, <laughs> it came back to me. <laughs> well, beat Vike. I actually think that I hate, I really hate the Frenzy Flame only really affects players. Nope. Take the K instead. He does damage. Nope. Nope. I was out of the range for that, honestly. Get the mana back. Okay, as long as he does that one, I'm fine. If he does the straight shot, no. Okay, as long as he keeps doing that one, I'm fine. Take this. No. Haha. -ha. He didn't bleed whatsoever. Oh, I also, I actually pre-ordered when I got my PlayStation 4 copy. I, I'm playing on PC right now. But when PlayStation 4, I play solo. Because I have no internet to play it with, with. I'll probably explain that in the next thing. But, uh. Uh. Because I pre order it, uh, when you pre order it, it came with a poster of Vike on it, which was like, that was a nice surprise. I didn't know I was supposed to get that. And it also came with a Torrent's ring that you summon him with. And I was like, having the rings nice. Mm. Well. Four minutes. We only got four minutes. Oh yeah, I was like I, you can't like, like you know, do the whistle to it. Man, I wish you could. And it's adjustable too. It's a ring that automatically adjusts and stuff. Uh, down to the four minutes. Now, I'm going to do this like come to one, some of those old shows. As I'm going to monologue. <laughs> I'm going to mo monologue this real quick. As the fallen shadow takes a step, a rest on his journey, he waits for the next journey to t continue. Next time in the next stream. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. In the stream. Hey. Recording is.